how about Revelation chapter 7? You say, well, where's the rapture then? Because the, the pre-trippers either have to say this, the, the rapture's never mentioned in Revelation, or it's Revelation chapter 4. That's a little interesting to me when the whole book, if you look at chapter 1 of Revelation, is talking about him coming in the clouds, about the coming of the Lord, the revelation of Jesus Christ, and things that must come to pass, shortly come to pass, that the rapture's not mentioned in that? That's a little strange. Actually, the rapture is mentioned in two places. I'm just going to show you the one, one of the places. Now, let's see if this makes more sense. In Revelation chapter 7 and verse 9, it says, After this, I love that word after, by the way. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. That sounds a little better. At least you're dealing with a multitude of people, you know, a multitude of people of all nations, all kindreds, people, tongues, and they're standing before the throne. So they're up in heaven. Where's the throne? Heaven is my throne, earth is my footstool. So we know they're in heaven. Now, in verse 13, we're going to find out where they came from. So who are these people? Are they just people that just happen to be in heaven, you know, and they're just like, oh, by the way, there's all these people that we saw. Now, in verse 13, it's going to explain exactly who these people are. Verse 13, it says, And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. It can't be any more clear, my friends. And in chapter 6, it says, The sun is darkened, the moon is as blood. And it talks about the, the heaven departing as a scroll. That's exactly what it says in Matthew 24. When it says, immediately after the tribulation, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and then the Son of Man is going to come in the clouds. I mean, you have to be just wanting to not see it to, to, be a, to, to, to hold on to the pre-trib rapture.